Hey guys, welcome back to Explainer X today. I am going to recap a 1981 romance drama movie, named Bo Purr. So, let's begin. At the beginning of the movie we see Remy, who plays the piano in a hotel. Remy was happy with his job, but it did not cover his household expenses. He had set a goal for himself that he has to become successful within 30 years. But now he is mid-29s, so he has only six months. To fulfill this target, Remy's house is shown in the next scene, where we see his wife Linda she is a model but due to old age she does not get work now. From above, she is also angry with Remy's piano job because that job does not overcome his expenses. The next day Remy wakes up early in the morning and makes breakfast for Linda. Remy wants to spend some time with her. Remy works in night shift and Linda in morning shift. That's why these two can't even talk properly. Remy forbids Linda from going to the office today. So Linda gets angry at him and tells him to find a good job first. Then while going to the office, Linda's car collides with a truck, and she dies on the spot. Then in the evening when Marion comes back home from school, then Remy does not have the courage to tell her anything but he had to tell everything. So Remy writes everything about Marion's death on a paper and puts it on the table. The next day Remy tells her that he is going to the market, and he has put a paper on the table for Marion to read. When Remy comes back later, then Marion asks, this is all a joke, isn't it? That's why Remy says no, it's all true, then Marion starts crying a lot and Remy takes care of her. The next day Remy goes to meet Charlie. Charlie is Linda's first husband and Marion's dead. Charlie says send Marion to me. From now on I will take care of her. Remy did not mind, but she does not have any other option. Going home he tells Marion, you pack your things because tomorrow your dead will come to pick you up. In this, Marion says, I have nowhere to go. I just want to be with you. Remy had no other option. Both of them go to the bedroom and start crying. The next day Charlie comes to pick up Marion. Marion didn't want to go, but she has to go. Here Remy doesn't like it without her. So he goes to his friends to pass the time. Then in the evening Remy goes to work, but he was very sad. That's why he didn't feel like playing the piano. Then the hotel manager gets angry and fires him from the job. A few days later, Marion runs away from Charlie's house and comes to Remy, because she wants to be with Remy, not Charlie. Remy says that I have lost my job, so I cannot bear your expenses. Then Marion says that I will do babysitting work, and you teach the piano to the children. In this way, both of us will make our living, then Remy also agrees. Then in the evening Charlie comes here looking for Marion, but Remy says Marion wants to be with me. She is happy with me. She has grown up and can take her own decisions. This angers Charlie and the two fight. Then Marion comes over there. And seeing him, both of them stop. Charlie had now understood that Marion would not go with him. So he quietly leaves from here. Since then, Remy starts teaching piano to children. And Marion starts doing babysitting work. But Marion fails in the school exam. Then Remy tells Marion to leave the babysitting job and concentrate on your studies. Marion says on this, not for babysitting but because of you I am not able to concentrate in studies. When I am in school, I keep thinking about you. I miss you always. Actually I have started loving you and want to marry you. Then Remy gets angry and says don't forget I am your stepfather. And he kicks her out of that room. Then the next morning while having breakfast, Marion starts doing the same thing again. Remy ignores her and goes to his friend. Then in the night when he comes back home, Marion comes to him. She also wants to sleep in the same room. Now Remy gets very angry, and he throws her down from the bed. Then Marion leaves this room crying. The next day the principal of Marion's school calls Remy to the school and says that Marion is depressed most of the time and does not concentrate in studies. This has been her condition ever since her mother passed away. The principal asks them to take her to some hill station for a walk. 
Charlie agrees to this. He will take Marion. The very next day, Remy goes to drop her off at the station and Marion leaves. This moment was very emotional for both of them. Remy's landlord throws him out of the house because he was unable to pay the rent. Then Ray goes to live with his friends. One day Marion calls Remy and asks, I don't like it here. I miss you a lot then says Remy. I also miss you very much and this Christmas I will give you a surprise. On Christmas Day, Remy visits Marion. She is very happy to see him and gives him some money. Remy takes a room in the hotel, and they get intimate for the first time there but Remy feels guilty and is apologizing to Linda on the way back home. A few days later, Marion also comes back and goes to meet Remy. Remy says I don't live in that house anymore. That's why you can't stay with me. But Marion starts insisting. Now Remy has no option. So Remy takes her to his broken old house. Marion then tries to get closer to Remy but this time Remy refuses. He says that it is normal for all this to happen at this age. But the age gap of both of us is very much. You should do all this only with a boy of your age. Saying this he goes to his work. Then comes home and sees. Marion is having fun with a lot of guys and Remy doesn't react. The next day, when he returns home from work, he sees a boy leaving Marion's room. This time Remy gets angry. He asks Marion, what's going on with this? Marion says, it was you who said I am doing the same thing to pass the time with the boys. Then Remy says, I told you to be friends with a guy but what you are doing is wrong. Saying this he leaves the house. The next morning Marion apologizes to Remy and tries to get closer to her. This time even Remy can't stop herself and both of them get intimate again. Then one day Marion comes running to Remy. The child she is babysitting is ill and she doesn't have parents at home. Remy walks into the room to get a doctor, but he doesn't have the money to give it to the doctor. He borrows some money from a friend and gives it to the doctor. After some time, the girl's mother happens and being happy gives a lot of money to Remy. Remy also notices that Lady also plays the piano. Remy started liking her. So Remy asks Marion about her on the way. Marion says that the woman is divorced and lives alone with her child. The next day, Remy goes to the girl's house on the pretext of asking about her condition and talks to the child's mother for a long time. Then when he comes back home. Then Marion says, I know you went to meet that woman, and you like her too. I love you too and want to marry you, but I know it's impossible. The next day Remy and Marion go to the woman's piano show. There Marion says, I will leave your life. I will never come between you and that woman. But whenever I miss you, I will come to meet you. Remy agrees. Then Marion goes to Charlie and starts living with him. Here Remy goes to the woman's house looking for Marion. He goes to her bedroom. The woman invites him to her and the two become intimate. Then his daughter comes here and starts watching them do all this. Perhaps such an incident would have happened to Marion as well in childhood. So she became like this. So I hope you enjoy the video. So click any video of three them and enjoy next and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the like button. Thank you for watching see you soon.